Hi everybody, this is Matt Allison Journey here and I want to go ahead and show you how to create a Prezi. Now a Prezi is kind of like a PowerPoint. What it does is it displays information but it does it in a different kind of way and I want to go ahead and show you um, what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead, actually the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and actually go to uh, Prezi.com. Just go ahead and Google it. They're going to ask you to go ahead and create a password and an account. It doesn't take very long and it is free. So once you go ahead and do that, you come in here and it says all of your Prezi. Well, if you create a new account, you're not going to have any Prezi created, but I do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what Prezi is all about. I'm going to click down here. And this is what Prezi is all about. Here I have my main Prezi right here and the introduction saying, why should I join the area then? Now I'm going to go ahead and come down here and click on the play button. And just like Microsoft PowerPoint, it takes you to different slides. It says we play a variety of parades. We are a positive representation, representation of Van Wert. We have fun. So if you want to play in many parades, represent Van Wert and have fun, we are the group for you. And one more thing, we only rehearse two times a year. You can't beat that. So thank you for your attention. So what this is, it shows all the information all on one slide, but it takes you to different levels. And so that is what Prezi is all about. Now Prezi can be as simple or as complicated as you want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come back to New Prezi. So I have a couple choices I can do. I can go ahead and choose the template that I want, or I can start with a blank template. For this case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose a template. What I think I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the explain a topic. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go ahead and click on use a template. So now you have our template taking, brought up and taken care of. So there are a couple of things you want to keep an eye on. You're going to want to keep an eye on the left hand side. These are all of the different, um, these are all of the different screens or all the slides that you're going to be using. Right now I'm on slide number one. And what's asking me to do is it's saying to click the add title. And I'm going to go ahead and call this my, um, introduction. To math. And I can of course go ahead and highlight it. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. I can get bullets. I can change the color around. But I'm going to keep it how, how it is right here. I kind of like that right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on my next slide. Again, just watch here. I'm going to click on my next slide. And it takes me down to where my next slide is going to be. The first topic for math. Now, I'm going to go ahead. My first topic I want to talk about from math is I want to talk about um, home. Let's just say I want to talk about what the homework is going to be. And then I can click the add text and I can say homework is going to be three nights a week. Now, there are some things that you can do right here. I can go ahead and actually click on the homework and I just clicked on it once. Now, watch what happens if I click on double click on it. If I double click on it, I can go ahead and edit it by changing the typing. So if I just click on it once, what's going to happen is, is I can delete it, I can edit it. Now I can go ahead and make it bigger. I can go ahead and make it smaller. Same thing right there. Now, what if I go ahead and click on image and text? Now if I want to, I can go ahead and create an image or put an image in there. So if you go back to my uh, screencast on how to add a picture onto your computer, this is a good way to do that. In this case, I'm just going to click on this one. This looks for I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. I just want to have text only. So, or maybe I want to have this blank, but I'm going to have text only. So I'm going to come back over here now to my third slide. Click the add text. In this case, 
I'm going to go ahead and have, instead of homework, this time I'm going to have attention. Okay? Please be to class on time. Attendance. Start at the cell. Okay, I like how that looks. I'm going to come down to my next one. And again, it just basically, this is why these templates that you create are so nice, is because they're already set up for you. Something else about my attendance is I can say that um, emergency. If, if you cannot make class because of emergency, just let me know as soon as you can. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on my next one. And again, I just keep it coming down here. I can keep going and going and going with more of this. Now, let's just say now, next thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and click on the save button, making sure that it's saved. It just saves it right on the computer for you. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and click and that brings us all the way to the end of it. But I want to go all the way to the beginning, to number one. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way back up here. Click on that. And then, let's just say I want to go ahead and see what it's going to look like. I just go ahead and click on the next one. And on the next one. On the next one. So this has really taken us through what exactly this is going to look like. Okay. So now you should be familiar with how to create a Prezi, how to um, create a template, how to put information in, also how to go ahead and put pictures in as well. What I'm going to go ahead and show you next time is how to save it and how to embed it into a website as well uh, as how to go ahead and change the direction of the presentation. I hope you have found this uh, information important and helpful, and I hope to see you back soon. Take care. Bye.